I've been working the outline mode so that I can easily see the different levels and as you know I can collapse them so I don't have to see all the levels at once which might get, make it easier for me to see the overall perspective but let me go back to the more detailed level and this allows me to go through planning quite easily putting in topics in this case now when I close the outline view the default goes over to whatever I had the different heading levels set at. And I had already played with this a bit because I wanted to still continue to see the indents. Now, I may like this organization, and remember these are headings, I haven't added text yet while I'm working, but when I decide later to put this into maybe the APA format, which you can see here, I open this one up. APA format wants the first level heading to be centered, boldface, upper and lower case headings. That would depend on how I typed it in. But let's go back now and change over to the APA type format. Being sure that I'm on home, one way would be to go into the headings. And now I'm right clicking and I go down to modify. And let's pull this over. And you can see right now my heading is not centered and so I might choose to center it and I want to move this heading over into Times New Roman and bold is fine I think I'll keep it at 14 font and be sure you have this automatic update clicked or else it won't update the style and bring it through your entire document so I'm going to click OK and let's see this was the only one I had that was at first level heading let's go over to the second level heading and I clicked into it which automatically put me into heading 2 but I didn't have to be clicked into it at that point I'm now going to the modify option and let me remind myself of what APA wants okay it wants a left aligned bold face upper and lower case heading so I'm going to click back to my document and I'm going to make this okay it's left aligned here and I want to make it bold face and I'm going to put this back to um, let me go back to Times New Roman so it's against the left line now I could have indented and you'll see when I do these things this little window gives me a facsimile of it and in this case I don't want it indented and I just want it against the margin I'm going to check to make sure it's automatically updated I'll click OK and this second level heading now follows that particular format now you can keep it whatever way you like as you work um, remember that for the final project portfolio you have to move it over into APA at the end um, but whatever works for you until that point use the different level headings